Hello, today is November 10th, 2019. Today I'm going to show you the Sun Simulator. I'm going to try to do my best to prove to you that it does exist by starting out with showing you the patent from Bausch & Lomb. This patent kind of gives you an idea of what we're going to be looking at here in the next few pictures and also some clips. You may need to pause the video and uh, take a look at what this patent actually says in order to get an idea of what their purpose or intention may be. So as you see right there, there is the black hole sun simulator. This is a monochrome image, kind of giving you another perspective of it. Right here you see that beam, that ultra intense beam that tends to put a black dot or a black line or a white line on your videos and pictures. This is an interesting perspective. It shows you that the illuminating component of the sun simulator is actually very tiny. It's the lensing system that makes it look much larger. The white part of the sun simulator is actually an illusion. It is a projection. You'll see more of that here in a second. Let's start right here. This right here is the moon simulator. It is also a projection. Here's a close-up of it. You'll see this same type of picture when it comes to both the moon and the sun. Once again, the moon simulator is much smaller than it appears. It is being projected. I believe that it's being projected into the atmosphere like a hologram. Here's some more. You can see the lensing system. Now here is what the sun simulator actually looks like. Here's a little collage showing you the sun simulator and it being attached to the so-called ISS. Here's another picture kind of shows the aura, the energy field around the sun simulator. And once again, the lensing system, people are seeing rainbows and circles in the sky. That is from the lensing system. Another picture of the sun simulator. And here is an interesting picture of the optics. You don't see this too often. And here is what you call a, a punch cloud where the beam of the simulator has punched through the clouds. And I believe they have adjusted it so it doesn't go down so far to punch holes now. Another angle of the sun simulator. So in my previous video, you saw that hovering orb in the clouds or above the clouds that was taken from an airplane. What you saw in the previous part of this video was an extended orb it goes below the clouds. Now before they change the level of that uh, focus point, I believe it did punch through clouds and now it is a little higher so it is seen to be floating above the clouds. Either way, it's still part of the lensing system and it's just uh, a projection. Kind of what you're seeing here. You see the sun simulator going up, you see the, the uh, lensing system in the bottom left corner. Now you see the noble gases being illuminated by the energy of the sun. And coming up over the hill right there is the actual illuminating component in the center. And now you can see the lensing system. And then we see these lines that are kind of just moving around and they shoot out. Now I'm thinking that these may be uh, sun rays, X rays, not too sure, but you're getting another angle of the illuminating component and the lensing system. As you can see, there is a lens and there is a light in the center. It is being reflected back 
and then through the lens. There's no doubt that this is not a real sound. This is artificial. And see, as it goes behind that cover up there, the aura around the sun disappears. Alright, so now we see the, the uh, moon. The moon is approaching. As it approaches, it's going to hit the atmosphere in a way where it's going to project and appear larger than it actually is. It's kind of like a, a, a movie projector. When you project the image onto a silver screen, it illuminates and you see the picture. Now the silver iodide and the nano aluminum is reflective and I believe they are using that to create these illusions, these holograms. Now if they can project the sun and moon and make them look realistic when they are in fact not, you have to wonder what's coming next. Project Bluebeam, anyone? So that would explain why some people are seeing cities in the clouds. It's a projection. The sun simulator, it illuminates the noble gases like a fluorescent light bulb. So basically when the area around you is, is illuminated, you are basically within, imagine this in your mind, you are within a fluorescent bulb, so to speak. Imagine this whole area that you are seeing encased inside of a fluorescent bulb. And with that thought in mind, we must be being exposed to mass amounts of radiation. There's no doubt in my mind. The sun is rising again. There's a fog moving in. And moving back out, once again you can see the lensing system. It's actually quite amazing. There's so much involved in the sun and moon simulators. They can do so much. They are not just for light. These are in fact weaponized. Occasionally you will see plasma, but we're not gonna point that out too much in this video. the screen right now that is a car. So this is just my theory, but we are seeing red and purple skies in the morning and in the evening. I believe when the sun is at its furthest point, it is illuminating through a thicker or larger area of particulates and so it is acting as a filter it is turning the sky red now if you look at your night vision cameras in the morning and at night you will see that they are overexposed with infrared 
and as the moon and the sun approach and go overhead, there is less particulates between you and the source of light that it becomes more clearer and less colored. When there's clouds in the way of the sun simulator and moon simulator, it will change shape because it is interrupting and manipulating the projection. I believe that they are spraying stratospheric aerosol injections in front of the moon and the sun on purpose. And one reason I think they are doing it is to allow the light to have something to illuminate. So we can light up a light, uh, a bigger and brighter area. Because if you think about it, if you spray around the sun, now whether you can see the clouds or not, some of them are, some of the nano particulates are clear. They're not all white clouds or black clouds. But if they illuminate or reflect the light, then the sky will be brighter. Like a more intense neon light. Now, whether the sun simulator and moon simulator are xenon or LED, um, it could be both. I've seen different patents for different simulators, so there's there appears to be a variety. For example, the moon has been odd colors like brown, red, orange, but last night it was bright white, like someone changed the light bulb. I haven't seen it that bright and white in quite some time. Kind of like how the sun went from being yellow to a bright white hot beam. To me, the Sun Simulator came into existence around 2012. Now keep in mind that these simulators are very close. They are not in outer space. Because they can spray the, the chemtrails, the, the particulates right in front of the sun and moon, and you can see that the clouds are in front of and behind surrounding the sun and moon, it's very obvious that these sources are very close and not 66 million miles away. That's just impossible. Once you accept the fact that they are, in fact, very close, then many more things will make sense. Once you understand that the world is not a round ball flying through space, then the sun simulator and moon simulator and everything else that is going on in between makes much more sense. None of this would be possible on a globe. If you take a look at a flight map, you can see that the world is not round and the flight paths do not make sense. Look at the layovers. Look at the emergency stops. Just that information alone will make you question everything.
some of these videos may look similar, but that's because they're from the same area, but they're a day apart. Take a look at that lens, lensing flare right there in the bottom left. I'm going to insert a picture that I saw today. Okay, so take a look at the O in the name of this. And if you missed it, go back to the last clip and you will see the connection. Is it a coincidence? Possibly. But remember, they, they love to mock what they're doing. They love to shove it in our face and laugh at us because most of us don't realize what it is. They do it in everything. Commercials, TV, movies, TV shows, advertisement. The mockery is everywhere. Once you realize what you're looking for, you see it every day. But not, not many people do. To have an open mind and open eyes can be a lonely place sometimes. You can provide proof to just about anything these days to anybody and they just won't see it. To me this is very evident. I hope it is to you too. Because if you can accept that this, what you're watching right now, is not what you've been told, then you'll start to realize that nothing is what you've been told. Absolutely nothing is what you've been told. It's really hard to swallow the truth. But it's important to know it. If you can get somebody to open their eyes and see this for what it really is, then they too will start to question everything. The Sun Simulator is probably the easiest thing to prove that it exists. It's probably the most obvious thing to prove exists. But what's most obvious and should be without question easiest to prove is if the earth is round or flat. Honestly, what makes you think it's round? Just because you've been told? Because there's a globe in your classroom? Because NASA tells you? Because they said they, they've been to space? Well, have, did you realize that 
They said they went to the moon. Several times, in fact. But just recently, they admitted that they've never been to the moon. But they're going to try to go to Mars. Come on, get out of here. They're not going anywhere, and they know it. If you can't leave this plane, then you have to find another way. And that's what they're doing at CERN. Opening portals to dimensions. Because that's their only option. But even Elon Musk has said they've opened a door, a portal, to a dimension that they cannot close. It's too late. They've allowed the AI demonic entities to take over and they can't stop it. Those aren't my words. Those are his. And if you think about it, what are they pushing the most right now? Autonomous vehicles, autonomous employees, gas stations, restaurants, AI is literally taking over. And it can't be stopped. When it comes to AI, you can have a million robots. And if one robot learns one thing, all million robots learn it too, regardless of where they are on the planet. A million robots learning a million different things. All million, all million robots learn all of those things at the same time. Think about that. I hope you learned something today. I hope this answers your questions of whether the moon and sun simulators are real or not. Thank you for your time. Be safe and God bless.